This is KXAN News. Now we start KXAN News at 6 with the second day of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton's Senate impeachment trial. I'm Daniel Marin. And I'm Britt Moreno. Thanks for being with us. Now today we heard from Paxton's former top employee. This is the first person to report him to the FBI for complaints of bribery and abuse of office. KXAN Capitol correspondent Ryan Chandler is joining us live tonight from the Capitol. Ryan, what is the biggest takeaway from today? Well, good evening, y'all. It was a very combative but informative day here at the Texas Capitol as we heard from one of the first eyewitness accounts about what he says whistleblowers experienced while working under Attorney General Paxton in, in his Attorney General's office. That name is Jeff Mateer. He's, former, uh, he's a former first attorney, uh, first assistant attorney general in his office, the former right-hand man person right under the attorney general who says that he witnessed improprieties throughout the four years that he worked in his office. Both sides today trying to prove that his testimony that we all heard was either damning or delusional. I concluded that you know, Mr. Paxton was engaged in, 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 in conduct that was immoral, unethical, and, and I had a good faith belief that, that it was illegal. Paxton's top attorney turned whistleblower, star witness for Paxton's prosecutors, recounting what he saw working in the AG's office. The problem is the office is being used for the benefit of, of one person. It's not exercising its own independent judgment. You have the attorney general acting on behalf of one person, and by this time, I knew that he was a campaign donor. Mateer says that donor, Austin real estate developer Nate Paul, got special treatment from Paxton to the detriment of other Texans. This is all hearsay. Paxton's defense, confrontational, calling Mateer's accusations hearsay and his FBI complaint premature. Is it possible, Mr. Mateer, that you jumped to a lot of conclusions really fast? I don't believe so, sir. And you could have, you could have put all this to bed if you had just talked to your boss. I attempted to talk to him starting probably in June, July, August, September. No. I did. You, take it easy. I now. did talk to him, sir. Take, take it easy. This kind of shooting in the dark is inappropriate. Now, Mateer was on the witness stand for more than six hours today, and throughout it all, Ken Paxton was absent. In fact, he hasn't been present for the trial since yesterday morning, and it's not clear if he plans to return. At the Capitol, I'm Ryan Chandler. Ryan, thank you. And you can watch the entire Senate trial each day on our website, kxan.com. Check out the special Paxton impeachment section.